Right, now what we're going to do is we're going to use B-Bot to help us to remember our letters. I'm going to start B-Bot, I'm going to start, I'm going to turn him on, and I'm going to start him on the letter, what was that letter? Ah, 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 ah. So I'm going to put him on, ah. Can anybody see a letter that they know? Put your hand up if you can see a letter that you know. Lily? We can see t, 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 t. So let's see if we can make B-Bot move to the letter Right, how many spaces do I need to move him forward? Two spaces. So I need to press forwards on B bot two times. One, two, and then go. One, two. What do we need to make B bot do now? We need to make him turn towards the t don't we? So we want him to move a quarter turn. So I'm going to press clear and then turn and go. Brilliant. Brogan, do you want to see if you can come and make um, B-Bot find T, the T space on the mat? So think about how many spaces you need to make him move forwards. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Then he's going to press go. One, two, three, four. He's made it! Yay! Well, today we've been using the B bot for a literacy activity with the alphabet mat just to reinforce the letter sounds that we'd learnt so far and we asked Bebot to move to the different letters on the alphabet mat and the children really enjoyed um, doing that and that really reinforced those letter sounds. Cheerio. It's so cross-curricular, we can use it within any subject, we can use it for literacy or numeracy, we can use it outside and inside and with all the subjects of the curriculum really it can be linked so well. The B bot's really great because the kids love getting hands on with him, they love pressing the buttons and making him work and he's a lovely little character um, and they like the fact that he's colourful um, and that he can just move around and they can control him.